Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to mirror shapes and objects within TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So, today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos, and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on the transforming shapes. We've already covered, I think, just about everything except for mirror or mirroring. So then um, I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, when it comes to mirroring, obviously, first thing you want to do is make sure you have a shape selected. You can either select a, um, just use your selection tool on top here and drag a selection box around the borders of your shape. If it does not go right around, it will not select it. Just something to keep in mind. Or you can simply just click on your shape, but make sure it's on one of the outlines. Click on the inside, nothing's going to happen. So with your shape selected, we have a few ways we can go around mirroring. Now we've got uh, our first way, which is on our draw bar on the left. It's maybe the most simple way. Close to the bottom here, you guys can see we've got mirror or horror mirror and... Um, Vert medical, obviously for horizontal mirror and vertical mirror. And then another way we can do this, we go on top to our draw bar on our main menu, or draw menu, should I rather say, navigate down, and then we can also find those two here. Then, last way we can do this, we go to our system work plate, which is this panel here on the right, also known as your control panel. Go to transform, which is the last tab. And then we go here to the middle one where you can set your ratio, but you also see here it's an option for mirror. And likewise, we have mirror for horizontal and vertical. Now, obviously, horizontal will just mirror it here on the um, horizontal plane, and the vertical will do it on the vertical plane. So, this is quite a handy tool. You'll often see people use it. Let's say you've got a word, then uh, They'll maybe make a copy of it. Usually be all caps. Then you'll mirror it like so. And then you put some form of fade. Not obviously in a laser cutting program, but then you can get that idea of like a mirror and the water or something like that. You fade this out into it. So you might have seen that a lot. And sometimes also if you're creating a shape and you want more of a symmetrical feel, you'll always you can duplicate it, mirror it on the horizontal plane and then you can just realign it and then you have something more symmetrical. But yeah, that is it on mirroring shapes. If we had to head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares here to cover. And also you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the videos you're looking for, just go here, request a training video. Then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.